Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <coughs> Logan writes. Hey Aaron, thank you for your last piece of advice. I've been developing my own small business in the trucking industry, and I've had this on my mind. I would like a video request this time. If our country decides to elect a socialist president, how would that affect small businesses in America? Would it be less of an incentive to work your ass off trying to build a business because of taxes and more regulation? Would a business owner be punished for making money? Do small businesses <clears throat> Does a small business have anything to worry about, or would this only affect very large businesses? What's your two cents? Thanks. Okay, well, the, the general answer is depends, but let's address a couple things here first. First, we do have a socialist president in here. I know everyone think, thinks Democrat is different, and we're not socialists. We're not. We are socialists. If we look at government spending as a percentage of GDP, which is what it is, and on fact of it, we just bailed out a ton of banks. We bail out people with welfare systems, and we uh, also... Um, have nationalized healthcare now. Uh, there, anyone with with just the slightest bit of intellectual honesty and knowledge of economics knows that we are kind of a mid-range socialist country. We're not as socialist as Norway. Certainly nowhere near as communist as Soviet Russia or North Korea. But we ain't no free market economy here anymore. All right, it just it just isn't so. So with President Obama in there, the guy is a socialist. He is. He wants. He hates rich people. He hates white people too. The guy is a socialist. He just hates people who are productive and 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 and, uh, and successful. And so he basically takes from the rich and gives to the poor. I don't know how. I mean, I don't know how much more we have to explain that this guy is a socialist. And the Democrats are socialists. Shit, Bernie Sanders. At least he's honest about it. But to, really, look at the platform of socialist parties and look at the Democrat Party. What they advocate. Tell me what the difference is. So, uh, so we already do have one. Now, how it affects business, both big and small, really does depend on the specific policies, the president and the Congress as well, because it's not just the president and the legislature, would enact. Now, in general, it would disproportionately affect large businesses worse than smaller businesses because, again, of that uh, natural trait or the, the inherent trait of socialism is envy. They hate the big rich people. They hate the success of the corporations. They leave the big corporations. And you even hear it uh, coming from the left and the Democrats. They're like, we're here for small businesses. Small businesses is what make America grow. No, it isn't. Sorry. Because <laughs> they start small and then they get really big. And then we hate them again. Um, <clears throat> so uh, at, uh, what I would say, at least in America, I, don't, I can't speak for other countries, there is a bigotry against large corporations. We're against large and successful. And the Democrats, I truly do believe, think they are for the smaller type businesses. They prefer to see a small business grow than a large one. Even though the large one would bring large economic benefits to the people. So that is how it happened in the United States. So you would get a little bit of a reprieve some kind of you know, like uh, you look at all these uh, racist laws about how you have to hire a certain amount of minorities, you have to have affirmative action, all this other stuff. If you have a certain amount of people over uh, a certain amount, of, uh, more than employees of a certain amount. So the bigger you get, the more regulations you run into, and the smaller you are, the less you run into. So there are these natural things that, because of the law, the code, compliance, regulations, you may it's going to be easier being a small business, and you will not incur the total wrath of the socialists. But all that being said, look, intentionally or not, socialists are dumber than shit. They never ran a business. They don't. Look at that. Clinton, Sanders, Obama. Even when they think they're trying to help people, they fuck it up. Okay? The best thing that, business, that governments can do is leave businesses alone. And that's just not in the nature of socialists and Democrats when it comes to big or small businesses. They're going to want to regulate. They're going to want to take a look at your carbon emissions. They're going to want to say, well, you can't use this product, you can't use those. You can use these, but you can't use those. <clears throat> I mean, my God, forget if you ever wanted to become an a auto manufacturer in this country, given all the amount of regulations and EPA standards and all that. And it just wouldn't happen. Uh, so what will happen, I mean, it, it, even though they're not targeting or gunning for small businesses, they unintentionally will. Look at, look at all this crap. I mean, Heck, look at the place that it's not even on the national level with Obama or the Democrat Party. Look at what happened in, what was it, Oregon, Portland? Um, on the local level, 
because that uh, cup, uh, couple didn't want to bake uh, a cake or cupcakes for a lesbian couple because of their religion. Now the city, like, fine them $100,000, going to take away their business, all this other stuff. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really, just because you're small does not mean you're going to escape the hatred, the bigotry, the ire, the jealousy, the envy, and the pettiness of these inferior parasitic fucks called the socialist. You're just not. I, I even remember, well, I don't, well, quote me on this because I'm, I'm not going to admit I know who it was, but even in the Soviet Russian days, I don't know if it was a difference between Lenin and Trotsky or Stalin, one of the prominent socialists or the communists said, look, let's nationalize the big economic powerhouses, the steel, the banks, the communications, the airlines, the transportation, but please leave the smaller, you know, um, shop owners alone just let them be and there was one who was a pure ideologue of communism told him to fuck off and die maybe it was trotsky maybe he did die but i i do recall there was one guy saying look can you just can you just let the smaller people be you know all right let's get the main stuff but this is all small and petty let's not get involved in it nope <clears throat> the, the ideologues always come through because they constantly it, they're insane they constantly have to have if there's a a constant growth, a constant take it under control, we got to do more, we got to do more, they got to do more. They can never just sit and let it be, That because that's what drives them, because frankly, otherwise they'd have to go get real jobs. That's what really scares socialists and ideologues. It's like, well, if your ideology was realized, then what would you do? Well, there'd still be some more. You know, what if, what if, you know, I, again, in my book, Enjoy the Decline, I said, what if Islam took over the world and killed everyone that wasn't Muslim? And then, then there'd be Muslims. And the whole world was... They'd still find a reason to kill each other. They'd still bitch and... Well, they have to find a reason because their, their ideology, their religion, is not functional or not conducive to growth and production. It's, it's, it's archaic. It's Neanderthal. So they'd have to find somebody to blame. They'd blame aliens or something for why the world turned out to be really sucky. Why is the world like the Middle East? Dad, there's no one left to blame but aliens! We can't kill them, they're too far away, and we lost the technology on how to get to planets. Um, so it won't stop, it won't relent. Um, you know, would a business owner be punished for making money? Hell yeah! I mean, right off of the, the tax base, the tax law alone, doesn't matter how small your business is, if it's profitable enough, you're paying more. Because you're an evil bourgeoisie white male bastard. Uh, the two cents. So yeah, that's my two cents. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. It's not going to be as bad because of one codified law and regulation. Small businesses fly under the radar. <clears throat> two, there is what I believe to be an inherent bias towards favoring smaller businesses over larger ones. But, but dude, you got to realize these idiots you're dealing with. They don't. They just. They, I remember. I think it came into play. Dividend taxes were just set between short and long term. And I think it was Obama that came in and says, well, you know, well, for example, dividend taxes. We could have a, a, a scaled income, uh, you know, where depending on how much you earn and you know, what your total income is, you pay uh, increasing percentages of your dividends, basically making a progressive income ta uh, in dividend tax. It's like, you know what, fuck face, can you, do, do you even think about, like, the amount of regulation and the increased costs this is going to slow down our economy by and how much more we got to spend on our economy to figure out a progressive dividend tax? I mean, it, it's, it's stuff like that. They, Obama has never worked a real job in his life, and I'm not saying this to insult the man. It, it's true. He, he's not an adult. He has never worked a real job. He hails from rich money from his grandma, and he's, he's just been like, yeah, non-profit, you know, politician wrote some books, because that's what we're going to do. So, he, it's completely clueless. I don't even think he's malicious about it. Just saying, well, we'll just do this. Because everyone else did it for me. I don't do, I don't do my tax. Uh, you know these dickheads? I don't do my tax. Just here, give it to my accountant. He takes care of it. It's like, yeah, but dipshit. You don't realize what the accountant could have been doing otherwise and what you could have been doing with that money instead. So, yeah, you're not going to go out unscathed. If you're in a socialist country, you get the fuck out. I mean, it's, you know, unless you don't make a lot, you know, then you minimalize. That's another strategy to do it. But, yeah, if you expect to make a lot of money, I mean, that's the other problem. You're in the trucking industry, kind of inherent to the United States. Um, that, that would be, I'd almost set it up in fucking Mexico and then, like, fucking run your operations out of there if you're in North America. So, uh, hope that answers your question, but yeah, no, the Democrats want your money. They're parasites. Doesn't matter if you're a small business or big business. Just might buy you a little bit of time. Tools.